All right. I'm still sick today, so I decided to go to my N64 collection. <coughs> so sorry, my voice isn't the best. I think the last time I went over this was about two years ago. I've got a few things since then. I got a few spare loose manuals. Nothing too amazing. Also have a sad part in my collection. I have the limited edition Majora's Mask cartridge, but uh, it fell, and the plastic parts that hold it together kind of cracked. The game still works fine. You can still just plug it in. That doesn't really affect anything as far as functioning of the cartridge. It still kind of sucks. I still have the manual for Bomberman the Hero. I did also get rid of all my third-party stuff for the N64, pretty much, except for that stuff up there. There was a sale nearby, so I finally picked up some of the sports titles. Increased my collection closer to a complete one. Nothing amazing. We got Armoros. It's a first-person shooter. I've tried it. Even if it was good back then, it has not held up good at all. Fox Sports College. Ocarina of Time, Jet Force Gemini, Rogue Squadron. This is one of my favorite games as a kid. I definitely think it's a good title. And um, what's kind of neat is LucasArts, or I believe Factor 5 made this. They actually made their own drivers for the N64 so they could get a higher audio quality than what was standard for it. Mission Impossible. I haven't really tried it yet. F-Zero X. Bomberman 64. I really like the N64 Bomberman games. I kind of wish the series was still around, but uh, Konami currently owns it. Wrestling game. Quarterback. Hybrid Heaven. I haven't played this too much, but what's kind of interesting about this title is it was originally going to be a port of Metal Gear Solid on the N64, but they pretty much scrapped that idea and made their own separate game. Golden Eye. Win back Pokemon Snap, one of my favorites, Mischief Makers. And then up here, I got picked up Turok and Kirby 64, which I've had. And then my only complete in box game for the N64, Perfect Dark. Alright, as far as hardware goes, I did finally pick up a fourth controller. I'm not sure what the technical name for that color is, it doesn't really say on it. Black. Then I also forget what the name of the purple clear ones was. Got the N64 with the thing I opened to show the expansion pack in it. Standard AV cord. Power adapters in there. Over here, I have part of the N64 cleaning kit. I don't have the whole thing. Basically, you take this apart and it helps you uh, properly clean out the cartridge slots. The little thing to the kit. I would like to pick up complete first party in 64 stuff sometime. They're still not too expensive at the moment. I'll just take care of that later. I got a memory card. Most games actually just saved on the cartridge, so there's only a few titles you need that. The standard uh, jumper pack. I might as well talk about this a little bit. The jumper pack was the standard thing. It basically is the RAM for the game system. And then the expansion port pretty much doubles the RAM. So games like Donkey Kong 64, uh, some games could play a few things on, like, Perfect Dark. You could play, like, some game modes and stuff, but you can't play the entire game with it. Alright, I got these from a few different bundles of stuff I bought. They are basically RF adapters. You don't really need them anymore. They let you plug the standard Nintendo RF adapter into your N64 and play on a pre-composite TV. And then for my actual third-party stuff I kept, we got the Dex Drive, and then I have a few more GameShark versions since last time. The Dex Drive lets you plug the N64 memory card into a PC and pretty much copy all your game saves and back them up. And if you have a Game Shark, you can pretty much copy your saves off of the actual cartridges onto uh, the memory card, and so you can back up all your saves off the carts themselves. That's kind of neat. Um, this is the version 3.3 that actually goes with the box, I think. Then I got version 3.0, and I think this is version 3.2.
so there's some mild differences in them they run better um some versions like the older ones have an LED light that pops up on here and tells you about certain codes and stuff for how it's functioning you can evidently technically plug one on top of the other and update the old cart with the current firmware. I heard that, I've never tried it. I'm just going to keep them how they are. But there you go. It's a nice little overview of my entire Nintendo 64 collection. I've had this uh, since about 2000-ish, 2001, I forget. Um, when I was a kid, someone burned down my house. And then my friend gave me part of uh, his N64 stuff. And I've slowly picked up a few titles since then. If I get a decent amount of money, I'm probably going to try to expand it and get the full thing. The N64, like, complete library for North America isn't too hard to get. As long as you have a decent amount of money, you can pretty much get the whole thing. But there you go. Thank you for watching.